So if you take a look, and those of you that have, let's say, 401ks or IRAs, you've probably, I hope, uh, enjoyed the last uh, four or five years. It has been phenomenal. I've been around this business for a long time, and I've never seen a run like we've had in here. But then again, we were coming off a very desperate time. Go back to 2007, stock market, as measured by the Dow Jones Industrial Average, hit an all-time high, a little bit over 14,000. Within two years, it had lost more than 50% of its value. We, we, we hit the, the Great Recession, and the markets just plunged. Real estate was dropping. That led to, the, to other asset declines. Stock market dropped more than 50%. And it was a, a real test of faith of people at that point in time. It, do you stay in the stock market? Sh you know, obviously, it would have been wonderful if you had gotten out at the peak, but most of us don't do that, okay? And most of us shouldn't do that. But then we hit that date. It was March 9th of 2009 when we, we saw the Dow had gone from over 14,000 all the way down to 6,500. And from there, I, I don't know what happened on that day, what triggered that change, but we turned this market uh, completely around. And here we are today, over 16,000 on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's been a phenomenal, powerful recovery. But unfortunately, most people have missed it because you know, you'll never pick up the Wall Street Journal and the headline's gonna say, rally starts tomorrow, okay? So uh, unfortunately, that's not the way the game works. So let's go over just a few things, uh, a few things that I hope will, uh, will be worth uh, your, your uh, consideration uh, when, it comes to, um, when it comes to managing your money. Uh, I know a lot of this stuff is just, you've heard it a million times and I almost hate to do it, but you've all heard these things a million times, but I, I, I really gotta do them anyway just to, to kind of get things out there. You gotta have a plan. It's simple as that. You've got to have a plan for your retirement. Uh, how you do that, uh, working on your own, there's a bazillion places uh, that you can go to online to help you put together a plan. You know, you, it's a question answer kind of thing, uh, like a turbo tax, but for investments. Uh, you need a plan. Now maybe you're, you're not comfortable doing that. Maybe it's time that you take a look at, at uh, getting some professional help. Fortunately, San Diego County Credit Union has a great team of investment uh, advisors that can work with you go over all your options, see where you are right now, and help you put together that plan for you as well, and help you put that plan into motion. So there's a lot of, a lot of resources that are available for you to, uh, to do that, and, and you should you know, make sure you have something done. And one of the first things I learned about all of this stuff, just like anything else, put it in writing, write it down, then you'll be able to move ahead from there. So I would encourage you to do that. Um, I spend a lot of time talking about the uh, cost of investing and the fees and expenses that are involved. Uh, John Bogle, who is the father of index fund uh, investing, a guy that uh, introduced the, the concept of investing in the S&P 500 index. He, the first index fund was created by Bogle at uh, Vanguard, and now index mutual funds garner the vast majority of investable dollars in mutual funds these days. Uh, and basically he said there are two things that will sabotage your return as an investor. One are fees and the other are taxes. And if you can control those two things, never mind what the stock market does month to month, year to year, whatever. If you can control fees and expenses, you will really come out of this uh, much more successful than otherwise.